Hello, today I am saying goodbye not to YouTube, you can relax, but to my miniature foods work specifically for dollhouse collectors. I've been doing miniature food for dollhouse collectors for quite a while. I, I made it for about eight years until last year. And it was a very important part of my life. I learned how to sculpt realistically and I also very much enjoyed sculpting. It was fun. However, I was always kind of dissatisfied with my work because I felt it lacked meaning. So this is something that is very important to me, which might not be for other artists or other miniature artists, and that is completely fine. I'm not saying the work is less good. It's just very important to me and I felt not happy about myself that I would just replicate things when I could actually put some, some meaning into it and maybe make some impact or have some impact on others. So everything is now sold, everything is now gone. I thought I would be, I don't know, kind of sad, you know? It's like eight, eight years of my life and I put so much into it and I'm like, okay, that's done. <laughs> we, we can move on. We have now a perfectly nice website and my artwork is not anymore next to the miniature dessert tables and miniature food of all kinds and it, it didn't fit and it just... And I feel like I kind of have that, that way less, and that's really awesome. That doesn't mean I'm never going to make miniatures again. I'm actually making something miniature right now for, um, for an upcoming video. Oh, look at this. What's that? It's a tiny room. Well, it's not finished yet. And it's going to be a sponsored video, which I never do. But this was really fun, so I, I thought, yeah, I kind of want to do that. And I don't want to tell you too much, but I'm not going to be able to resist. But I am going to make something like this. So think decay. I really like to work on decay because it shows that any kind of civilization comes to an end and honestly right now it feels like an end. So I'm kind of fascinated with the whole idea of decay and what happens when when you, you let things rot and go to an end. But back to the subject of that video, which is basically letting go of certain dreams that you might have had at a certain time of your life and then just let go off. And I think that's really important because sometimes you see people saying don't give up, don't give up on your dreams, but you, you have to give up on certain dreams to work on others and often it's not giving up, it's just moving on. I think it's important to make a difference between moving on and giving up life is about moving on and life is about change you are not going to be the same person in 10 years because you have you are going to experience new things you are going to learn new things you are going to change your mind on certain on certain things you are going to change your lifestyle or your ideas you might even have other friends so it makes sense that your dreams are not going to be the same when you're 10 years old, when you're 20, or when you're 30, or 40, or 50 years old. So, so that's a good thing to, to change and to embrace change and not to be afraid. Money can be a problem because when you are working on something, let's say you're working on dream number one and it's bringing you money, and someday you wake up and you look at your life and you don't like it and you feel that it's just not what you want anymore it, it, it might have been something that you wanted it, it might have been something for what you worked really hard but you don't want it anymore it's not what you want you want something else but money money is nice and so T building up that courage to let go of the thing that is giving you money and security to sh chase your own dream is not only madness but it's also the only thing that might keep you sane and I think embracing change, embracing who you are in the present and not who you were 10 years ago is also important for your own well-being because money is nice and I'm not going to say that money isn't, especially in our societies, you cannot do anything without money. But you don't need that much money to live. That's the first thing. And 
maybe just plan ahead if you start your life and put money aside so when you want to switch something you have that cushion so you can do something else and take a risk. Yes, that's all I wanted to say. If you have something to add to that, I would love to hear about your own experience about that. Maybe you you made several changes in your own life. Maybe you gave up on certain dreams. Maybe you moved on. Maybe, maybe you're still not there. Maybe you're still working on that first dream and you're kind of struggling and you're not motivated anymore. So I'd love to hear about that because because actually that's what I prefer on YouTube. I really like the discussion. Don't hesitate and comment below. You usually comment back. So yeah, that's about it. Saying goodbye to dollhouse miniatures. Saying hello to other miniature work, sculptures, art thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! So we're kind of doomed. That's what I'm trying to say. We're doomed. Money can be a bitch.